praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. This is Apostle Fabian, and I want to take a few minutes. Let me just get a few minutes of your time. Let me get your ear. Let me hear you. Let me have your ear for a minute as I talk to the leader, talk to America, talk to, to God's people, those that will hear this by Facebook and hear it by YouTube, concerning God uses wicked rulers. So therefore, we don't get caught up if, if Hillary become president or Donald Trump become president, uh, that if, if it happens, we have to look at the fact that God places rulers in position. And, and if we as the people put people in position, position in our democratic society, God can turn that for our good, uh, and it's always with, with, with this in mind, Israel and the church. Israel and the church, and God is not willing that any should perish, is always the motivating thrust of God when dealing with people in this planet now. Before the church, it was Israel. Before, after the church now, it's, it's the church and Israel. So, and, and what God wants to do in the earth through the church. So, I don't want believers uh, to become uh, so confused and so caught up in what's going on in the election. We continue to pray. We continue to, to, to seek the face of God. We continue to, to reach out and try to get the laws and build up Christ's kingdom. God will take care of that because God set rulers in position and authority. So, let me give you some scriptures and I want to talk to you a little bit about how God uses wicked rulers. And Jeremiah chapter 27, and it reads on this wise. In the beginning of the reign of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, this word came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Thus says the Lord to me. Listen, this was the Lord talking to Jeremiah. Make for yourselves bonds and yokes, and put them on your neck, and send them to the king of Edom, the king of Moab, the king of the Ammonites, the king of Tyre and the king of Sidon, by the hand of the messengers who come to Jerusalem to Zedekiah, king of Judah, and com command them to say to their masters, Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Thus you shall say to your masters, I have made the earth, the man and the beast that are on the ground, by my great power, and by my outstretched arm, and have given it to whom, listen, it seemed proper to me. And now I have given all these lands into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, my servant, and the beast of the field, I have also given him to serve him. So all nations shall serve him and his son, and his son's sons until the time of his land comes and then many nations and great kings shall make him serve them. Now listen to what God told Jeremiah. He said, you, you put a yoke and a, a, a bond and a yoke on you. You go to all these different cities and you tell all these different masters and you tell all these different kings, Nebuchadnezzar is my servant. First he says, I created the earth. I created man. I created the beast. And I place man up on him. And I give it to whomsoever it seems proper to me. Now listen. He says, I'm going to give this land to Nebuchadnezzar. Let me read another scripture to you. Um, Daniel chapter 4, verse 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers. Watchers are the angels that sits in the heavens. That watches the earth or watches the, uh, 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 God's creation. And the demand by the word of the holy ones. These are the angels. To the intent. Listen to the intent. That the living may know. That the most high. Ruleth. In the kingdom of men. And giveth it. To whomsoever he will. And setteth up over it. Listen. The basis of men. The basis of men, the most wicked of men. Now they said this is the decree that come from the watchers. And this is a demand from the holy ones. These are the angelic beings. These are, these are supernatural beings that do business for God or, or work the planet or work the universe for God. 
They were the watchers. And God said, listen, he told it to Jeremiah, and then in the book of Daniel, he decreed it to Daniel, he revealed it to Daniel, that the watchers, the holy ones, and the Lord himself have said, I rule it in the kingdom of men, and I give it to whomsoever I will. Now, when you do a history, and, he, and, and, and in Jeremiah, he says, I've given it to his son and to his son's son. So that, mean, that's, that means that Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar, and uh, uh, Belshazzar, all of these in succession was going to be God's rulers of, of super world powers. This is what God had ordained. We can't get away from it. God don't want us, the church, to be worried or concerned about who's going to be in the leadership. Because, listen, they can't do anything unless God permit it. And God always have an ulterior motive in hand. If I could use that word. He always have a motive, and that motive is always, listen, to protect Israel and to protect the church. See, yeah, some, yeah, 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 yeah. See, some people may wonder, say, well, with this person getting there, this is that won't happen. But see, what you never know is, by the time, listen, by the time he gets into office or she gets into office, the heart will change. When God gave this word to Daniel concerning Nebuchadnezzar, listen, the Bible says when God was bringing judgment on Nebuchadnezzar, the Bible says that night his heart changed. Are you listening to me? He said that night uh, his heart changed. See, you never know, you never know what God is going to do when he puts a ruler in position. Now let me give you some let me give you some history on some of God's wicked rulers that he put. And you go do a study for yourself, okay? Look up these names, go to uh, 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 uh encyclopedia, uh, uh, uh Wikipedia or whoever. You understand me? You go and you do a history, do a word study on the name and these kings and watch how, how and watch how evil they were. But yet God used these men because he said I used the he used the basis of men and he ruled in the kingdoms of the world. Number one, Pharaoh. We know what Pharaoh did is in the book of Genesis. Artaxerxes. Go read up on Artaxerxes. These was wicked rulers. Xerxes, King Xerxes. Go look up it. Go look up his name. Look up his history. Look up how he ruled the world. Look up how he treated people, and look at his own lifestyle. Caesar, Cyrus, Darius the Mede, Belshazzar, and Nebuchadnezzar. When you go look up these names and look up their history and look up their life and how they ruled their kingdoms, these men, listen, was put in rulership by God. They was put there by God to rule and to lead nations. Because why? Each one of these nations, listen, they was the rod of God, listen, in God's hand to chastise nations, to chastise Israel, to chastise nations, and to keep nations at bay. See, 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 we got to get away from this, uh, uh, from this, this, this ignorance, I would say that, uh, concerning, uh, prophecy and, and the teachings of God's word and, 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 and the things that God taught us. See, when I study these things, I learn in my life and journey and being in a nation where we, we put people in charge and we put people in nations. I learned by experience, okay, that God put rulers in position. For his own good. And usually it's it's for the good of the church in the long run. So many people come up against America. They want to they, they want to talk about God judge America. But when you do a history, just do a search. America leads the world. And anytime it, any, any kind of catastrophes happen, America is always first there. No matter what nation, America is always the first one there. For many years, America is God's rod. To bring chastisement to rulers and leaders that try to become dictators of a planet of the planet. Listen, and 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 and, and, and you have to understand, God is not concerned about nations of the world the way we think he is. His concern about nations is that he's not willing that any should perish, and that the gospel of the kingdom shall get to the whole world. So anytime God put a ruler in position, this is Anytime he puts a ruler in position, the objective is to get the gospel to the nations, listen, and to bring protection on Israel. Did you catch that? The gospel to all the nations, and then the end should come, and the protection 
of Israel. So listen, I'm fixing to close. I just want to give you something to get to, to meditate on, but go look it up and get back. If you make any comments, make comments after you've done your homework. Don't just blab off at me. Come at me with some homework. And you'll see, go, go study these men, and you'll see that God uses wicked rulers. I'm not for either candidate. I can't vote anyhow. Doesn't make me any difference. Whatever they do, it never affects me. Why? Because I'm in I'm in the kingdom. I obey the laws of the land. I live the way I'm supposed to live. I do what I'm supposed to do. And listen, I'm all right in the kingdom. Amen. So it's the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Listen, God bless you. I just wanted to give you this little excerpt. Love you. Let me hear from you. This is Apostle Fabian. And I'll see you again.